Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and it is Dollar Tree Tuesday. Um, I also have a couple of things I stopped at Joanne on my way home. So I thought I would show you what I picked up there um, because one of the items is gonna be part of a DIY and I'll sh tell, talk to you about that when I show you what I bought. And then the rest, it's on the floor. <laughs> the rest of it's from the Dollar Tree. Um, okay, so Joanne, I needed some thread black thread so I picked that up if you haven't guessed I do I did last year and I'm gonna do this year the buffalo check the red and the black and then we'll see what next year has in store but I needed some black thread you'll see in a second I picked up some felting needles these are uh, if you've ever felted wool with I think I've talked about it before but you take fresh or like um, real sheep's wool lamb's wool any animal wool. Anyway, you use these needles to needle felt and I my broke one and my other one's getting ready to break. So I grabbed a pack of those. These come in a five pack. I think they're supposed to go into some tool, but I don't need tools. I just needed the needles. So I grabbed those. They were $7.99 um, and I have a 40% off coupon because they take manufacturer coupons from other stores. So if you go into Joanne and you want two regular price items, pull up a Michael's coupon because they'll take it as long as it's something that Michael sells. So I think you can't use Michael's on fabric, but they sell everything else. So yeah, all that to say, I bought some felting needles. <laughs> um, I bought some fabric, speaking of 60% off. And if you're a sew person, a sewer, a crafter, this is called broadcloth. It's just very basic, solid, cotton fabric um i'm making a valance and i have a huge front bay window i mean i would say it's probably 84 inches across if not more that i have to have curtains for so i bought black and then i had the buffalo check oh that looks really super bright it's not that bright um i had the buffalo check but i didn't want full-on buffalo check curtains because i feel like that's a little intense so what i'm going to do is make a black valance and then I'm gonna make a border of the buffalo check at the bottom or the top, I'm not really sure yet. Probably at the bottom, so I'll cut the fabric to make the valance and then I will attach the buffalo check to the bottom and just make a pocket. Very basic curtains, but that way I can hang them. Um, actually, I'll be making two curtains um, because of my, how they're hung because it's so wide, there's a, support in the middle so I need two valances that can go on either side um, I can show you how I make them I'm just you know gonna cut this fabric I'll cut probably I would say a three inch strip of this you know like three or four inches probably like that and then it'll just be at the bottom of the valance when it hangs on the window so I need that's what I needed the black thread for because I don't think I have any so I picked up that for my sewing project that I need to get on working on hopefully next week and then now this is for DIY so I've been stocking the Dollar Tree everyone in my area for that beaded if you haven't seen it beaded garland it's like little beads on the wire um, they, they're supposed to look like um, a flower or a berry it might be called berry garland maybe it's called berry garland I don't know because I can't find it but it comes in white, gold, and red. And I wanted the white to do my snowman, to use the those bamboo wreaths that I got that I want to make a snowman for my downstairs. And um, I, I can't find it and I'm tired of waiting. Well, I was in Joanne and look what I found. It's similar, but instead of beads, it's little white bells. And I wanted the white because the Bamboo is a natural color, and I wanted to bring the white in to be like snowman. And these were 50% off, so I paid $5 for two. But I feel like this is a lot of yardage. Yeah, it's nine feet of this. I don't know how, again, because I can't find it. I don't know how long the, be the berry garland is, but this will work. So I grabbed two of those to make my snowmans. And that was totally spur of the moment. But I said, oh, girl, you need that in your life. So I grabbed that. Um, Dollar Tree. Not too much going on. I needed a few more things for my um, gingerbread house maker, which I think I have everything now. 
So if you do gingerbread houses, these are spearmint leaves, but they make great little trees for the yard. When you do gingerbread houses, you just kind of glue them upright, or you could just cut the bottom off, make wreaths out of them or whatever, but they make great trees. So I just grabbed one package of those. Um, I guess you can eat them. I, I wouldn't eat them. How many sugars? Holy moly, there's 23. One, two pieces of these has more than a whole day's worth of carbs for me. So that's a negative. But I will craft with them all day long. So I grabbed those because I think those will be fun. Um, because I was on the hunt for the garland, which I never found. And now I don't want it. Um, I did pick up one of these. Which now I'm wondering. I have to look. Um, these hold a votive or a tea light, but I'm going to put votives in them. And they come in a small, a medium, and a tall. And so I had one set of small, medium, and tall. And I decided for my kitchen window, I want to do small, medium, tall, medium, small, and put red votives in here. So I grabbed one of that size. And I'm hoping in the next bag that I got the medium, so we'll see, in one of these bags. And what else did I get? Oh, I grabbed these at the Dollar Tree Glad lunch bags. Um, some of the candy that I purchased, I'm gonna cut the plastic off and just put them in baggies. I mean, if the kids eat it, I'm not gonna touch it, but I think it'll be easier than having to open everything up there and get plastic all over my cousin's house of wrappers. So, I grabbed those. That'll be a project I'll do while I'm sitting here editing a video or waiting for it to load. I'm just going to start cutting open baggies like the um, Starlight Mints and the Cichlids. Sixlets. Six, Sixlets. Six, Sixlets. <laughs> Don't be excited for me, but look what I found. I finally found the red truck, which I hope I don't have this one. I don't think I do. I have the other three, but I didn't have the red truck one. So I grabbed that because, yes. I'm wondering ouch, if, probably it's not a good idea since I can't get in it. Um, if it's airtight enough to keep my coffee fresh, I was thinking of putting my sweetener in one and filling one with my coffee just for the holidays. I mean, it does have a rubber seal, but I don't, I could just put my coffee in a zip bag in here. That might be an option. Just because I want to sit these on my counter and I thought sweetener and coffee would be perfect. And if you have a coffee filter, like if you use a drip maker, this would perfectly hold your coffee filters on a coffee station. Um, yeah, so these are super cute. I got one of each. Some of them will be gifted and some, this one, the red truck and the one with the um, coffee cups on it, I will use in my kitchen. I thought that was fun. Uh, we're still collecting things for the church that my floor, my area supports. And we're looking at toys and stuff. And I found this. I don't care what they call it. This is straight up shrink shrinky dinks, guys. This is shrinky dinks. They're calling it shrink art. Um, but this is shimmer and shine. And I thought a little girl would enjoy. They did ask for some crafty stuff. And I thought a little girl would enjoy making some um shrink art so i grabbed one of those and that'll go into my box to take to work i have a bunch of cash from my co-workers so maybe next week i need to get out maybe next friday no that's black friday nix that idea um next weekend i'll get out and do some shopping um six lights, that's what they're called and I showed you before, they come pre-packaged, which is great for like stockings, but there's three in a package. And if I want the kids to like, you know, decorate with them, I'm gonna cut them out. Oh, we can make little worms. Look at that little guy, he's cute. Um, I'm gonna cut the plastic, put them in the containers just to make it life easier. I'm gonna try this Boost Freshener, Fragrance Boost. It smells pretty good. I love um, the downy unstoppables but they're so expensive um and i have an se washing machine an he washing machine but it's a top loader i i hate it but um it gets musty sometimes so if i use these when i wash it doesn't get musty 
So I'm going to try this and see. When I coupon for the other stuff, that's perfectly fine, but I, I haven't had any coupons lately. So we're going to try and see if it helps. I mean, the worst case is I don't like the way it smells. Or I get some kind of creepy rash. That would be awful. <laughs> but I hope not. I grabbed a pack of hand warmers. I am working my last football game on Saturday at the shoe here in Columbus against Penn State. Go Bucks! And um, it's going to be cold. So I grabbed a pack of these. I just put them in my mittens. And they help keep my hands, you know, warm while we're outside walking around. This is a small haul. I just have a little bit left. I picked up a set of these hooks. I went with the silver over the white for one specific reason. They're more the deeper and closer. And last year I used the white and my but I put garland on my headboard. I mean, doesn't everybody at Christmas time? And the white ones, the garland kind of fell off. So I'm gonna try the silver ones this year. They just look like they were gonna hold it a little tighter in here. And you get six of them for a dollar. These work. It says two pounds. I didn't have any issues. They were only up for like a month over Christmas. Um, I hope these are the removable ones. Oh, you have to put it on there. Wait, 24 hours. I think these are, yeah, these are the removable ones. I'm pretty sure. And then I just pull them off at the end of the season and take them off my headboard. So I grab those. Here's the test, guys. That I, I, oh, now let's hope this is the middle size and not the tall. I think it is. Yes. So you get small, medium, tall, and then I'm going to go medium, small. So it's like a stair. Let me tell you, these things are filthy. The last ones I got were filthy, and these are filthy. I soaked them in a sink of hot soapy water twice to get whatever that creepy film is on there. Ugh. And then the last things I picked up, again, were for the candy for the gingerbread houses, which I think we have everything we need now. I just got some dots. I really wanted gumdrops, but the stores I were at only had bells, and they were kind of an odd shape. So we're just going to go with... Um, I mean, these are gumdrops, so just not sugar-coated to gumdrops, but I think it's okay. So I grabbed two boxes of dots. So I think with the candy situation, we are under control, I think. Unless I see randoms here and there, which I'm hoping I don't because I've bought enough candy. And again, I'm just going to open all these up. I am going to video making the gingerbread house as much as I can. I have to ask the other kids' parents um if they mind them being on video and if they're not comfortable or if any of them are not comfortable then i'll just video um try not to get the i won't get the kids in the shot so i'll have them move away and show you all the gingerbread houses but if i can then maybe i just set up my camera for a little bit and get some video and i'll do it like fast forward and play some music or something in the background we'll see all right so that is all i bought this time at the dollar tree and yeah, look out for my snowman i need to figure out well i have figured out a scarf for him i bought some of that really fat yarn and i think that'll be perfect for a fluffy white scarf and i just i don't want to do a hat like a the black top hat i think i want to do like some white greenery like white floral or something as a crown for him instead of the traditional snowman hat all right but that's everything and i will talk to you guys later bye